good guys it's Ida and welcome back to my channel if you're new here please subscribe and make sure you turn that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post so things on my channel are a little bit different seeing as your girl is pregnant so that means that every Tuesday I'll be uploading a pregnancy video and every Saturday I will be uploading a hair video that is until about May June-ish 2022 when things start to get a bit crazy today i am joined by this lovely lady who you guys haven't seen on my channel in a hot minute um i literally just took out some of the cornrows that Kay had did in her hair from months ago as you guys know i was trying to teach my husband how to cornrow hair and um we're gonna get back to that honestly because i want to do a video of him doing my hair and see how that turns out but yeah Today we're going to be doing something on her hair. So a few months back, I was asked in the comments section to teach you guys how I part hair whenever I'm doing my updo. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you a pretty simple technique, how to part hair. So <laughs> stop holding her like that. How to part hair if you want to do an updo and how to like keep parting the cornrows to make sure that you don't run out of hair because that's a big problem that a lot of us face. So I'll be using the typical stuff I like to use and that is a wide tooth comb, a rat tail comb, and a couple of hair bands. My hair's a bit of a mess, so I'm just gonna quickly detangle it. I didn't carry my spray bottle, it's in the other room, but usually I would use a spray bottle, spritz the hair, and then detangle. But I like to use the big comb to part the big sections just so I can get a nice clean parting straight away. Remember guys, I have got a tutorial on how to part a hair because I know a lot of you struggle. So there is a tutorial out there. So what I'm gonna do is go to around the point of the ear and just like part across from ear to ear and try to get something along those lines. Now there is a lot of different ways you could do this, this updo parting technique, but I like to stick with this one because I find it the easiest and it's the one that I just taught myself when I was learning how to do hair. Luckily, she's a mannequin so she can turn so I can show you exactly what's going on. So I'm just going from ear to ear and I will check afterwards to make sure that it's all good how I want it to be so yeah I think that's pretty even for the purpose of this video I am going to start at the bottom of the hair do it up and then go to the top just because it's easier to see the corners that I'm doing when I start that way so the aim of this is to get the hair right in the center so I want all my cornrows to end up right here in order to do this, whenever I'm doing a parting, I need to make sure that it starts off whatever size it is, but it gets thinner towards the middle, just so that there's enough space. Because if we're all trying to, if we're trying to aim all our cornrows here, we're going to quickly run out of hair room. So we want to do our parts kind of like a triangle in the sense that you start off kind of wide and then you get thinner and in and in and in, especially on the sides, because that's where you have the most area to cover when you get to the bottom it's a bit different you can do kind of straight up you want to make sure that whatever cornrow is here kind of blends right into this one you could do it where it's obvious that you did a middle part in and just do it like like have the cornrows coming like that like literally from the bottom up but what i think is better is if you do it kind of from the sides and then work your way to the middle just do a part in across like that but yeah, make sure your parts are nice and neat, which mine are currently not. That's a bit better. The aim of this tutorial is not to teach you how to cornrow, it is to show you how I part my hair for the cornrows. You can see here that the end, the hair that I'm using is super, super thin. By the time I get to that middle piece, I'm using really, really thin strands of hair because I really got to ration it out. Then just braid. 
then we're just going to continue to kind of go like this here then here then here then here kind of like imagine it as if you're doing the hair in quarters you want to make sure that this by the time you get down here that is going to go straight up whereas all the others are going at an angle by the time you get to the bottom it's going to go straight up and then continue on the other side keep it thin like really be stingy with the amount of hair that you use at the bottom. usually i would do it from the other angle but for the purpose of this video i'm going to do it from right at her face <laughs> so you guys can see i'm sacrificing my own vision for yours then once again as you get to that center point the hair becomes super thin yeah once you get here you want to start thinking about adding a bit extra to the nape of the hair just so you can start getting that curve and that bend that you need at this point you should be thinking have i got enough hair to then do a couple more and be in that straight line if so you're on the right tracks my hips are starting to hurt oh <sighs> pregnancy is no joke yo <laughs> it's no joke i remember when my mom used to bend my head like this when she was doing it oh my god i think this is why i don't let people sit in between my legs when i do hair because it's just traumatic for me man them days when I had to bend up my neck, have my head in her lap, uncomfortable, while people are watching TV around me and I'm just there suffering. I think that's why I just give people the privilege of sitting on a chair and me working around them. <laughs> because that PTSD from when I was younger, oh my God. This one should be almost like straight down now. Now, I'm in an awkward angle, so I can't tell. That is more or less the center of her head. More or less, she's got an awkward head shape. <laughs> but I would say it is, okay, from here I can tell it's slightly off literally just feeling her hair not looking at it then you would basically just mirror exactly what you did here on the other side so you'll start there and then it's kind of like a clock right you start at 12 o'clock and then you want to end up at three o'clock so i'm going to do that off camera so i can sit down and relax these bones and then I'll be back. So this is how the back turned out. I did end up redoing majority of these cornrows, I can't lie, only because it wasn't that neat, but I didn't touch the partings. One thing I will add is make sure that you're doing it at an angle where you can properly see, <laughs> because if I was here, I would be able to notice that the, the cornrows are slanted to the side, just a little bit, and I would have fixed that ages ago. But because I was from behind, I couldn't really tell what was going on. So yeah, we're doing a updo that is slightly leaning to the left of the lady but that's okay this back took me about half an hour to do in total and then we'll just basically do the same thing at the front the way the mannequin's hair is set up is very thick on the corners of her head so it might be a bit clumpy and awkward but i'm just gonna grab a piece looking at the hair that I did before and trying to aim it at the same area with the front you usually have a bit more leg room to play around with because you just have more hair at the front half of your head naturally whereas the back is a lot narrower
you see how this cornrow just blends right in with the one from the bottom half that's what happens when you kind of just do it slanted like that when i usually do my own hair i usually do this because i'm lazy where i'll just come from there and round where it's really obvious that you split it in half but if you don't want that to be shown then just do this this kind of i don't know what to call it slanted <laughs> slanted corners i think you guys can get the idea of where i'm going you're basically doing the same thing you did here at the front depending on the person's head shape it might change slightly um, I'm gonna do the rest of it off camera and then come and show you the final product and her hair is all done I think in total it took me about uh, an hour so about half an hour on the top and half an hour on the bottom and this is how it looks as you can see all of the hair now goes up in one bun at the back you can leave it like that obviously do it until the end so you can leave it like that um but i like to use a hairband some people like to use thread and like thread it together but i'm just going to quickly tie up her hair and then we're just going to give you a quick overview of what we have learned today look at this cute cute i used to have my hair like this all the time as a kid <laughs> what have we learned today well as i was finishing off her hair i thought to myself that doing hair is exactly like maths this is the one thing that i think maths is useful for in the outside world so you want to divide the hair in half then you want to also think about the center point of where that half is so you divided it in half first then you found like a middle point now you want to focus on that middle point and the way that i do it is i think about the hair in four quarters so you have your half but then you also have your four so you want to make sure that this quarter the first quarter that you're doing goes towards that center point and in order to do that you're doing loads of triangles loads of isosceles <laughs> triangles to make sure that you meet that point think of it as having a pie and now splitting that pie into more or less equal parts in order to meet that center of the pie. So do that all the way around and then just keep going. Um, with her hair, it changes in terms of thickness throughout, so it looks a bit jaggedy, but with human hair, I don't think that necessarily happens. Once you get the general idea down, you can start playing around with different styles. You don't have to have it all straight going back. As long as you think about that center point at all times, you can have all different styles happening, but as long as you make sure that you ration out the amount of hair that you use in the middle of the head to make sure that all the cornrows fit. Thank you guys so so much for watching hopefully this has helped loads and loads um let me know what you think in the comment section down below and i will see you guys next time peace love and light